This is a fairly common uh, SMO uh, junior level problem. And what makes it work really uh, is it's more or less just a direct translation. But notice right here that 11 squared is equal to 121. Uh, and so 11 squared minus 97 is the, 90, is the 24 uh, that you see in the original problem statement. It's 24. Okay, now, uh, again, we're assuming that K is an integer. I didn't write that down, but K is an integer. Okay, and so we completed the square to get this result right here, which leads to a nice setup because this is really in the form the difference of two squares. Okay, this is A squared. Uh, and then if you bring this over, if, if you reverse this, you get something that's of the form A plus B. where A is functioning is just M plus 11. K's uh, would be your B. So you have something in the form A plus B times uh, A minus B. Let me make this a little better. Okay. And of course, you can see, I, le I did leave out one step, but you can see that if you reverse this, if you bring the K squared to this side and the 97 to this side, this is in the form that would be in the form a squared minus b squared. Okay, it would be in the form a plus b times a minus b is a squared minus b squared, and you bring this over, bring that over, and you get a squared minus b squared. Now, the reason why this is useful is notice that 97 uh, is prime. That means it only has two divisors, one and 97, and plus and minus one. I mean, just, you know, minus one and minus 97 too, but it is a prime number which minimizes the actual number of computations that needs to be done. So that's prime. 97 is a prime number. Okay, so what that does is leads to a very favorable circumstance in terms of calculations here. You can, you can, you can call this first factor 1. You can call this second factor 97. Okay, and the order is not important because all we're going to do is just sum these guys, okay? So you could put the 97 here and the 1 here. I just arbitrarily put the 1 here and the 97 here. But notice that if you sum these two guys, you get this fairly simple circumstance here. If you, uh, the k's eliminate. That's the motivation behind summing. Notice if you sum, this k is going to eliminate uh, this negative k. All right? And so you get 2n plus 22 is equal to 98. And let's see, that would be the same thing as saying 2n right here. Uh, 2n is what, 76? Okay, and that, that way you can see where the uh, where the n came from. Seventy six five by two is n equals thirty. So that's one of the answers. Now notice that, and you can you can check this. I'm not going to do the arithmetic for you, but thirty eight and eleven is forty nine. So that would imply right here that k is equal to minus forty eight. Now you don't necessarily have to solve for k here, but if you want to prove to yourself that this really works, k would be equal to minus forty eight right here. Okay, k would be equal to minus forty eight. And you could take that value of k and check. You could put n equals uh, 38 here, here, and here, and you could square uh, 48, and you would see that you got the truth. And you guys can do that arithmetic if you don't trust what I've done. All right. Now, so now another way to look at this though is uh, minus one times minus 97. That's a legitimate factorization. So let me put the commas there to make sure this is clear. Okay, and that's exactly what we did right here. Okay, exactly what we did right here. Notice the minus one and the minus 97, in this case, one and 97 uh, was the top case. And again, if you go through the arithmetic on this, you get n is equal to negative 60. So these are the two solutions, and the only two solutions owing to the primality of 97. Okay, n equals 38, positive integer solution, and n equals minus 60, uh, negative integer solution. Hope you enjoyed that one, I liked it.